It's a custody fight that's making national headlines. A woman from Vashon Island killed her two daughters 20 years ago. And now two young boys are living in her home. They're her stepchildren. And as Jennifer Kim reports, their real mother is afraid the boys' lives are in danger. They don't believe it. They don't believe that this is a true story. They think that this is, you know, made for TV or something. But for Trisha Conlon, it's a harsh reality. This mother of two says her sons are living with a child killer, a woman by the name of Christine Cushing, a woman who's also married to Trisha's ex-husband. Uh, Christine Cushing acknowledges and admits to killing her two children. In 1991, the killings of both girls, ages four and eight, shocked this quiet Southern Californian community of Laguna Niguel. Cushing says she was depressed, blamed a bad reaction to Prozac, and was found not guilty by reason of insanity. After a decade of psychiatric monitoring, she was granted an unconditional release by the state of California. Since then, Christine has reunited with John Cushing, who since fathered two boys with Trisha Conlin. They live at the end of this driveway at a home on Vashon Island. Yeah, um, it was kind of a, that, that sucker punch feeling. Right now, under an agreement, Trisha shares custody of the boys with Cushing. In June, along with her attorney, Trisha filed an emergency restraining order against John. But this month, a King County commissioner ruled that since the boys had been spending time with Christine since 2008 without any problems, a change in custody was not warranted. Trisha's attorney wants that overruled. When individuals commit heinous acts against children, whether it's sexual abuse or in this particular case, the killing of children, the discretion from the court should be removed and it should be an automatic grounds for a review of the parenting plan. Court documents show Christine Cushing is currently undergoing medical treatment. She also says she has a very good relationship with both boys and that she loves them very much. Jennifer Kim, Como 4 News. Conlon says she won't stop fighting for the safety of her sons who are 13 and 14 years old. Another court hearing is scheduled for August 25th.